Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. So today on uh, Pulmonomics, we have a very special series that we're doing called Pulmonomics Perspectives. And what we do in these series is we have a special guest um, that is involved in boxing in uh, some form. And um, we, we bring them on and we talk to them and kind of pick their brain and get their perspective on boxing and life in general. So today we have a, a good friend of mine. Um, you might have seen him in Captain Phillips, Pacific Rim, The Unit. The Purge TV show, Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> Sergeant Will Gardner. Um, it's my honor actually to have my good buddy Max Martini. Um, aside from being <clears throat> a great actor and filmmaker, writer, and established and all these, done all these wonderful things, he's actually a, a, a bona fide tough guy. He doesn't only play one on TV, he is one in real life, you know? He's actually a, like a regular guy. Like, when I first met Max, I didn't even know, know who he was. Do you remember when we first met him? I do, him? yeah, I do, yeah. And uh, in Burbank, so he's sitting there and um, wants to do some training. And uh, I, I didn't know anything about him, right? Nothing. Yeah, I hadn't, I actually hadn't uh, done too much boxing at that point, I don't think. And, and uh, I went into Burbank and I, you, were, you were training at a gym there, which yeah, was- Geo, Geo's Boxing Club. Local for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the gyms I worked at. And uh, I don't know, we just, I think we just got in the ring and moved around. Right, and yeah, it, yeah, you wanted to do some training and we started training and I didn't know, at this time I think you were on the unit. Yeah. Um, which is a really, really great show. Um, and uh, you, he was very, very naturally gifted. You were always strong and tough and fast. And one of the things I really appreciated about you is uh, you, you don't act like a normal actor. Not that actors act bad or anything, but... Like you, you're like a regular blue collar guy, you know, like um, you could, it could have been anything, could have been a construction worker or something and I wouldn't even well, know. Well, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, com it's, it's a compliment from me. But um, really good at boxing. Um, I just, just tell me a little bit, like what, what, what attracts you to boxing in general? Well, you know, I think initially uh, I started boxing for a workout, you know, and, and, uh, and it, for, for the roles that I play, um, you know, they're always, uh, it, it always involves endurance, you know, like I'm, right. I'm always fighting, I'm doing fight scenes, I'm, right. you know, running with weapons, I'm, whatever it is. It's, and, and boxing was really great for me to sort of keep my endurance levels high. Uh, it kept me in shape, mm -hmm. um, which was important if you're playing leading guys. And, and, um, you know, and then and then I started. I think once I really kind of got a grasp of the world and, and the sport, uh, I really fell in love with the technique yeah. and the mechanics of it, and 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 how it's so much mechanics, and, and and it's and it's really not what you think. It's not like getting just a crazy amount of power in a, in. in throwing a punch right. but it's the mechanics of your body that put the power the force into into your uh your striking so that kind of excited me and then i got and then finally you know uh if i may it just it just uh i really started to appreciate the psychological game yeah. and and i feel like there's a game with yourself and there's a game with your opponent you know so in that, I, you know, if you, there's a whole, there's a whole other level of boxing when you have somebody coming at you trying to rip your head off and, and, you know, and it, you have to conquer your fear, which, which is something that in my line of work is a big thing. You, yeah. you know, it's all confidence. Confidence gets you through yeah. Hollywood and confidence gets you through the boxing ring. Yeah. And, um. And so, you know, that element I loved because it was, I learned something about myself. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then, and, and then after, you know, and then also like being able to sort of control your wind and, and, and figure out how to go on defense when there's somebody trying to rip your head off and catch your breath and slow your heart rate down. And I mean, it's really uh, a sport for, for smart people. I mean, you can't. 
uh, approach this, and you know, as a, as a meathead tough guy, and get in the ring and think you're going to do anything uh, worth watching. So no, no, you definitely can't. I mean, and and to take it a step further, a lot of because I've I've trained other people, other actors, or other people who ne aren't necessarily competitive fighters, but very seldom do people actually want to get in the ring and, and really spar that, that, that doesn't, that don't want to fight per se, like yourself. Like you want to hit the bag, you want to hit the mitts, you want to do the workout, but you also really legitimately got in the ring and sparred with real boxers. You, you've done well, that Well, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's like if you're, it's like, you know, uh, working on a classic car and, and you do all this engine work and you do, you reupholster, you get the whole thing right. and then you never take it out on a drive. <laughs> like, you know, you can't, you, you, you know, at a certain point I was like, you got to get in the ring if you want to advance in the sport, you yeah. know, and, uh, and that man, I just loved it. Like it was, uh, it, it, I mean, well, you know, I mean, we were sparring all the time. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and Max is you're a very strong, very strong athletic guy. Um, and you know, you can feel that from you. Uh, but to get back to the point of legitimately getting in the ring, a lot of times, like you, you, t you discussed the fears of, of certain things. And that a lot of times is someone, someone's fears. They don't want to mess their face up or they don't want to get hurt or so on. And that's one of the things I always really appreciated and respected about you is you, your fearlessness that kind of carefree attitude came always came off and resonated with me from you. Um, can you you know talk about that a little bit? Yeah, man. I mean, it's you know that's. Uh, I, I remember being in, in fifth grade and, and getting in my first fight, and and I was out in the we were out in the schoolyard, and this guy who was smaller than me, you know, decided to to you know to step up and, and fuck with me, and and you know, it, but I got my ass handed to me and it was by the smaller guy, by the smaller guy. i mean but i didn't know how to, i didn't know how to fight happens, yeah. you know and um and that fear haunted me you know and and as a kid growing up uh you know with red hair um <laughs> it was it, you know it was i needed something in my back pocket and uh and so it wasn't boxing that early on, but I started to like I f try to figure out how to gain my confidence and overcome this kind of fear of, uh -huh. of where my I've set my limitations, you know. And and look, I, I, this is something that I pass on to my kids. Like my son, who you've trained, right, right. Uh, hits like a freight train, oh. and 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 he loves the technical uh, aspect of the sport, you know. So he's yeah. he, it's all about mechanics for him, but but. Conquering that fear uh, frees you f to do anything that you want to do in the world. I mean, it truly uh, gives you the con because people are attracted to confidence, yeah. you know. And so, if 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 this is this is this this is a sport that can open doors to success, in my you know, from my perspective. If you're having any kind of setbacks, you know it's 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 very freeing. So for me, uh, look, it's important physically, it's important mentally, it's important in life. You know? Yeah. Well, you definitely are a great example of everything you're saying because boxing is one thing, right? Literally, you can fight your way to success through like a sport like boxing, mm -hmm. or you can also fight your way to success in other sports, kind of figuratively uh -huh. in a sense like I'm sure you've had to deal with I'm sure you've had a ton of setbacks and even like what's going on right now uh -huh. with um with the uh, your industry that you're in uh -huh. you know um ups and downs yeah I mean there's there's always kind of this this sort of unknown you know I mean it's it's like you know uh in my business I mean especially now with COVID and you know yeah. we don't know it, how it's going to return right. if it returns it will return I'm, I'm sure I hope and, uh, but, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, it's, it's all a fight, yeah. you know, it's all a fight. And if you become a fighter, then, then, uh, then you're prepared for it, you know? And, 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 and I think that, you know, if anybody is familiar with my work, like I play a lot of tough guys and I play a lot of soldiers and I play a lot of cops and, you know, 
I'm always like the guy that comes in with the gun and just, right. you know, lays waste everybody that saves it. Yeah, like if somebody has to die, they call me. That's kind of, I'm, I've become that guy. So, but, but that confidence, um, you know, it transmit, it, 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 it's, uh, it's a, I think I, they pick up on it and, and when, when I'm in an audition uh -huh. and that's sort of the edge that I have that sort of kept me working in this business is that, you know, I walk in the room and, and I don't have to pretend that I'm okay in, in, in certain situations. Like I know I'm okay in certain situations. So, so I think, uh, it, like I said, it's attractive and, you know. Uh, yeah, I, and believe me, I, you're saying it and it's, and I've seen it firsthand that you're not, you really are a living example of someone who does live that way. You know, yeah. I've seen it firsthand. So. Um, that's again that's like one of the things that I always appreciated about you again I didn't know really know what you did for a living until you took me one day on the set when you were shooting on the unit mm. and I didn't really even I know he's an actor or whatever but I didn't know he's an actor like that when I got there and everybody's you know catering to your beck and call and, <laughs> and, you know it's really really it's actually cool I was like wow Max is like a big deal you know what I mean? <laughs> then, I, then I'm watching TV and I see you on shows that um you know my lady watches and stuff it's really cool um so yeah again to keep hitting that point is 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 I always had uh, the utmost respect for you and I, and I and I really appreciate you coming here and taking the time out of your busy schedule to sit down with me and help us with this uh oh no I was uh, I was happy to John is is uh is one of the best trainers in Los Angeles very good friend of mine, but 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 I can get I can attribute uh, everything to you, and and uh, and so thank you for your training and your well, friendship, and it means it's a good lot. to be here. It buddy. means a lot, man, and uh, let's get down to business. Let's man, do it. Huh? Let's do it. <laughs> Go. Perfect. Get a little lower in the leg. Go. Good. Hey, low. see um max you know he did a pretty extensive tough workout he did a, a full boxing workout similar to how like a professional fighter would work out um but he started out in the beginning like not really knowing anything you know uh couldn't really do half of that workout but you know you work your way up over time so that you can learn the technique and do it right and and then push yourself more and more because the thing about boxing and max i'm sure will agree to this is the better you get at it the harder it becomes in a way because you can do more and push yourself more, you know, like uh, as, as I'm sure that you think yeah, the same I way. Mean, I mean, it's, it's never, uh, it never gets easier, but, but that's part of the, the beauty of the sport, you know, whether you're doing it to shed some body fat, you know, improve your health or, or, or actually conquer the sport. 
and uh, or your fears that we talked about in the interview. But it, yeah. get, in the, get in the ring; it's worth it, and I recommend it. Yeah. Thank you for uh, watching Pulmonomics, and uh, please hit that like button and subscribe subscribe to our channel. Uh, we appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll do our best to get get back to everybody. Thank you again. See, the great thing about doing an interview is you can take a break. <laughs>